I'm Louisa Wilcox. This is Let's Get Wealthy. I hope to bring to you some interesting insights into business, life and money. Thank you for listening. Hello and welcome to today's episode of Let's Get Wealthy. I'm Louise Wilcox and today we're going to go on a deep dive into the fascinating world of money mindset and practical finances. So make sure you get yourself a cuppa and let's get started. First things first, I think it's really important that we actually talk about what money mindset is actually about. I want you to picture it a little bit like this. It's the lens through which we view money. It's our beliefs, attitudes and feelings towards wealth and also abundance. See, the thing about money is that it shapes every aspect of our financial lives, from how we earn, the way we spend, how much we save and invest. It all comes back to our mindset or our money mindset. The way that we handle money Um, and the way that we feel about our finances, our learnt behaviour. We store it in our subconscious mind and quite often we don't actually realise are the habits that we actually have around the way that we are actually handling money and viewing money. Now these habits make up your money mindset and it's really crucial to actually work on your money mindset if you want to change your financial situation and if you want to grow your wealth. It really is crucial. I want you to think of it like this. Imagine you're setting off on a road trip. Your mindset is like the map you're going to use to navigate. If it's outdated or faulty, you're going to end up lost or stuck. But with the right mindset, you're going to be able to overcome obstacles. You're going to be able to stay on course and ultimately reach your destination, in this case, to financial freedom. But there are different types of mindsets and I think it's really important that we do actually cover that and we talk about them because to actually be able to overcome mindset and to actually understand how we're managing it and what we're doing, we need to realise that there are different types of mindsets. Now these types of mindsets are called a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. So let's just talk about those for a little bit. Because if we don't actually address these mindset blocks, it can actually stop our progression, whether it's self-doubt, fear of success, or even imposter syndrome, because quite a lot of people actually suffer from that, and it really does hold us back. Now, the key is to identify them and put strategies in place so that you actually overcome them. Look at self-reflection and also seek support from mentors or people around you, those that you trust, to actually help you come over any blocks that you might come across. And sometimes we don't realise we have the blocks because, again, like I said earlier, it's stored subconsciously. Now, a fixed mindset. Let's talk about this for a moment. For example, our beliefs. Maybe we might believe that intelligence is static. So, Those with a fixed mindset around this topic will believe that their intelligence and abilities are fixed, that they cannot learn more. It's going to cause that person to avoid challenges because they may perceive that it's too difficult um, to prevent the future, um, the possibility of failure, sorry, and that effortless is actually fruitless. They may believe that putting in the effort is not meaningful because their intelligence is predetermined and success or failure is a reflection of the abilities that they have. Another fixed mindset trait is um, the avoidance of failure. So if you've got a fixed mindset, you may avoid failure at all costs because you view failure as a reflection of your abilities. And if someone's giving you constructive feedback, you may become defensive. You um, will believe that it can be an attack on your level of intelligence when actually that's not the case. And this will cause you sometimes to be threatened by the success of others. And actually, usually that's just a reflection of things that we aren't feeling too good about ourselves. But I would also like to talk about a growth mindset because all of these things and these feelings that we're feeling around fixed mindset, they can, we can work on them we can change our mindset but let's talk about a growth mindset 
So the beliefs around intelligence, people believe that with a growth mindset that your abilities can be developed, that it can be strengthened over time. You can learn through dedication and effort and actually you'll embrace challenges because you see them as an opportunity to learn and grow instead of avoiding difficulties and you'll approach it with a more positive attitude. And then any setbacks, you're going to be more resilient because you will see those setbacks as opportunities for learning and improvement. You're more likely to bounce back from challenges with resilience. This is really important for us entrepreneurs because, as you know, we put out so many offerings and services and sometimes they don't always work. But by having a growth mindset is going to make you more resilient. You're going to be open to constructive feedback so actually you can make the changes that are going to be more valuable to your content going forward. And actually other people's success are going to inspire you because you will see it as evidence that you can improve and actually what you're trying to achieve is achievable. And it with a growth mindset, it's you really understand that it's a process of learning and effort is, effort is seen as a pathway to improvement and challenges are embraced as an opportunity to actually develop new skills. You're going to be a lot more um, a lot more persistent in your journeys. So overall, a fixed mindset can really limit your personal and academic achievements because you may not pursue challenging opportunities for fear of failure. It can also lead to a desire to appear smart at the expense of learning. Whereas with a growth mindset, it really helps you create a love for learning and a resilience in the face of those challenges. You're more likely to achieve your full potential because you believe in the power of effort and continuous learning. But it's really important to note that actually people normally have a combination of both mindset. It's completely normal um, and you all may have both of these in different areas of your lives. The goal is actually to create a growth mindset and recognise that abilities can be developed over time with dedication and effort. Now the benefits of having a positive mindset is that you will actually see tangible benefits in the long run because it enhances your decision making. When we approach decisions with a positive mindset, we're more likely to make choices that actually align with our long-term goals. A positive mindset helps to boost your resilience during those challenging times. It allows you to weather storms and bounce back stronger. And it really helps you to support with your financial planning. It helps you to build a secure foundation for the future. And all of these benefits are not theoretical. They will translate into tangible improvements in your business and personal lives. But working on your mindset is what's going to help you create those foundations. With this in mind, we do need to consider um, a lot of things that go around to do with the abundance versus scarcity mindset, which is very similar. So an abundance mindset is about believing there's more than enough to go around. It's about seeing opportunities everywhere and feeling grateful for what we have. When we operate from a place of abundance, we attract more wealth and abundance into our lives. But on the flip side, the scarcity mindset is rooted in fear and lag. It's the belief that there's never enough, leading usually to hoarding, envy, and sometimes a sense of limitation as well. But cultivating and having an abundance mindset alone isn't enough, along with the growth mindset. We need practical skills and financial literacy to back it up. Financial literacy is like the toolbox you need to build your financial future. It's about understanding how money works through budgeting, or as I call it, a conscious spending plan, savings, investing, and making informed decisions about your finances. It's not all about the mindset, but it is really important that you work on your mindset. Because if you aren't working on your foundations, you, what will happen is you will do all the practical things and then you'll find yourself going back into those old habits. So it's really, really important that you do both alongside each other. And that's why when I work with my clients, I actually go through my Let's Get Wealthy Roadmap, which is my four-step roadmap to get you to your wealthy life. And those steps are designed to help you with your psychology of money, with the practical side of your finance, with your financial literacy, to actually creating your own wealthy life. Because all of the steps are the everything you need to actually be able to create that wealthy life, to work on your finances, to grow future and also create um, generational wealth 
alongside it. Now, I would like to point out it is completely normal um, for everyone to have mindset challenges. They can manifest as fears, doubts, limiting beliefs. Many of us have encountered the fear of failure, a scarcity mindset, um, or even imposter syndrome. And especially as entrepreneurs, I think imposter syndrome is quite big. And they can act as roadblocks and, and they do hinder our growth and success. But remember, these are subconscious beliefs and they usually learn from our childhood. And it's important to realize that you're not alone in facing those challenges, but actually identifying them really is the first step towards overcoming them. And when you do this, there is a huge link between mindset and success. Because the beliefs and attitudes that you have towards your money shapes your financial habits and your behaviours. That then influences your ability to take your risks, to manage your finances and actually succeed in your business as well. A positive mindset towards money is vital for us entrepreneurs as it actually determines our financial decisions. It helps you overcome obstacles and it will propel your business to success. Now, successful entrepreneurs that actually put their achievements to a positive mindset really helps you with your approach to risks. It helps you make your decisions and actually navigate any challenges. A positive mindset in particular is a really key drive of success in our business and personal lives. And with this in mind, I want to talk to you a little bit about what I call mindset monkeys. Mindset monkeys are those questions that we tell ourselves that we really need to reframe. So let's just cover, I'm going to go through a few questions with you today and I'm going to give you some reframes because I think it's so important that we all work on this. Now I'm sure you've heard some of these things, um, you know, like why can't I ever save enough money? I would like you to reframe that to what steps can I take to improve my saving habits and build a more secure financially, for, sorry, more secure financial future. And then another one I hear quite a lot, I'll never be wealthy, it's impossible. Reframe that to what strategies can I adopt to increase my wealth and financial abundance over time? And this one, which I think is really common, is why am I always stressed about money? So reframe it. How can I create a more positive and proactive relationship with my finances to reduce stress? You kind of see the pattern here, don't you? It's about taking those mindset monkeys and turning them into something positive. It's about your learning and your skills and giving yourself that belief and opportunity that you may not know it and have that knowledge now, but it doesn't mean that you cannot change a situation. Everybody can create wealth. You are no different to anyone else. You can have wealth. It's about creating those foundations, working on your mindset, working on your financial literacy, putting it all together so actually you use it to create your wealthy future. And I'm probably sure you are sat there thinking, okay, okay, I'm hearing you. What can I do? What tips have you got for me to actually develop a positive money mindset? The first thing is to set yourself some realistic goals, some realistic financial goals. Break down your long-term goals into really sm like smaller achievable milestones. It makes them more manageable, but it also gives you a sense of progress. If you know that you want to save up a £5,000 in emergency fund in the next two years, break it down over 24 months so that actually every single month you can tick off that you have put that money aside. Just remember that life happens and sometimes we do have to dip into that pot and that's okay. But by setting realistic goals, it's going to make things feel much more achievable and you'll be much more positive. And practice gratitude. Take a moment each day to appreciate your current financial position, no matter the scale. Because gratitude really shifts our focus from what's lacking to what we have. Now, something I've been doing, which has been a game changer, is every evening I will message my business bestie three things I'm really grateful for for that day. And they range in quite a variety of things. Sometimes it is a little bit of a reframe if I'm having a really bad day. But usually it's things like, I'm really grateful for the fact that I am creating a life for myself that I enjoy through the businesses that I have. Or it may be that I'm really grateful for the fact I have food in my belly and a roof over mine and my family's heads. It doesn't have to be 
massive, massive things, but it could be something that you're really grateful for. Maybe that you're grateful that you came down in the morning and the kitchen was completely clear. It doesn't have to be huge, but it's whatever you're grateful for. So even on those days where you're feeling a little bit low, always look to find gratitude for your day. And another thing is cultivate a growth mindset. Embrace challenges, opportunities for learning and growth. A growth mindset allows us to view setbacks as stepping stones to success. Now, to help you with your own money mindset journey, if you go to the description with this podcast, there is a link on there which will take you to my free money abundance journal and you will start seeing changes. Until next time, take care, keep going, you've got this.